I am convinced that weather is a trigger for a significant majority of these patients, perhaps 50 to 75 percent of patients are quite aware of the fact that the weather plays a role in triggering their migraine attacks. However, that specific weather pattern could be very individual. This is Health and Weather Extended. And yes, there have been some studies linking the connection between changes in the weather and headaches or migraines. But there are still some conflicting results. And simply put, you cannot forecast every migraine. But that doesn't mean neurologists are ruling out the connection. I think the vast majority of weather elements do play a role in many of our migraine patients. The unfortunate thing is that uh, up until this time or until very recently, studies looked at what we call pooled data. So looking at a group of migraine patients. And what we realize now is that it's probably a subset of individuals with migraine that are vulnerable to weather triggers. So when you look at too many migraine patients, including those who don't have a weather trigger, it dilutes the data. And Dr. Christine Lay is not the only neurologist linking some migraines to the weather. I believe weather itself can be a trigger of headache when present at a strong intensity or in conjunctions with other triggers, such as certain foods or somebody who suffers from like a poor night's sleep. So when those are added together, sometimes that could be enough to set off a perfect storm for an individual to experience a headache. So what types of weather would trigger a headache? Some patients may be vulnerable to a rise in barometric pressure. I think the majority of migraine patients feel like it's a drop in the barometric pressure as a storm is moving in. Storms themselves can be triggers. A lightning was shown to increase the risk of triggering a migraine attack in an American study. But many other patients feel like it's a temperature change, a hot sun day when there's just a lot of glare going around. Other patients feel like the wind plays a role in triggering their migraine. And that's a lot of different types of weather to cover with that overall theme being change. And through my interviews, I was wondering, could there be one area in Canada where people are more susceptible to a migraine or headache due to changes in the weather? And the answer I got, well, one province was mentioned again and again. An example would be the Chinook winds that uh, we see uh, out west in Alberta, and which is a very abrupt, powerful weather change. And there has been studies that have shown the association between the Chinook wind and migraine onset. When I moved here to Calgary, within a day I had one. And uh, I had to go to the ER and uh, the doctor who treated me, he's like, you moved to quite possibly the worst place you could live for migraines. It is by the time it's full blown, like in the middle of the afternoon, it's a five on a scale of one to five. Doctors in the region have said the Chinook can trigger the pain the day before it develops and on the day it moves in. Different patients react on different days. Migraine Canada says nearly half of adults experience headaches. And if you think the weather is playing a role, well, it's important to understand this. So we don't want patients obsessing too much over, oh my gosh, I have an event on Saturday and it looks like a storm is coming in Friday. I'm going to be in a jam. But to be more mindful of the fact that weather can play a role and when they're aware of perhaps that a weather change is coming, to be very mindful of other potential triggers. Make sure they're well hydrated. They're not skipping meals. Make sure they got a good night's sleep. Are they doing their mindfulness or meditation or stress reduction uh, exercises? Because those are all really important. We do think that it may not just be a single trigger that turns on a migraine attack. They may build. So if you've kept everything else in check, you're less likely to be vulnerable to a weather storm or a weather change, for example. Thanks for tuning in to Health & Weather Extended, the chat about how the weather can be problematic for migraine sufferers.